Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking I'm going to be taking you through inequality word problems. Okay? So please do make sure you have watched, you know, um first video on inequality. All right, I've uh, please make sure you watch the first video on inequality, how to solve inequalities and graph them, and also try to watch compound inequalities also before you watch you know inequality word problems so you you know you get a better understanding all right okay but well, if you already know inequalities and you don't really know the word problems you can dive in here all right so um before i go further um please do subscribe to our youtube channel and also you can check our website for summary notes study guides practice questions um you can check it here dtwgdprep.com Okay, just go to this website, you'll see free notes for your sciences, your social studies, you'll see free practice questions for RLA, all right, your GED math formula sheet. And um, you can also join our Facebook group. We're over 22,000 members in the community. Okay, if you need support, motivation, encouragement, resources, you want to know about the GED in your state, be it Arizona, be it California, be it New York, okay um you know just drop your questions on the group and there's a loving community to support you okay so and if also if you want one-on-one -on -one tutoring you can contact me i will leave all my details in the video description box of this video all links i'll leave in the video description box okay so now before we go further in uh should i explain this anyway that's why i said you should watch the other videos but during the course of solving these questions i would touch on all this okay so now the first question says five more than a number is less than eight what is the solution to the inequality five more than a number let the number be x so five more than it means x plus five five more that's if this is a number five more that's an addition of five then is less than look at the symbol for less than is less than what eight so eight so this is our expression this is our inequality what expression now we have to solve okay so to solve this all we need to do is take positive five to the other side it changes to a negative so we have this less than then we have eight then taking here it becomes negative five so we have x less than what um uh, 8 minus 5, that would give us 3. So this is x less than 3. And how do you do this on the number line? You have here 3. Okay. So it will go this way. Okay. The line will go this way. And since this is just less than, you are going to have a small circle here that is not shaded. And your line will go this way. So in case you have a question in the GED that the options are represented in number line, you have to really know how to represent a uh, graph um, the solutions of an inequality on the number line. So this is the way it should be graphed. This should be the correct one. So you have it all that is not shaded because it's just less than. If it was less than or equal to, this would be shaded. And the, the direction of the arrow will go this way to your left okay which is what less than all right so this is the solution to number one now number two says four less than a number okay let the number be x so four less than that number will be what x minus four that's what the statement means then four less than a number is less than or equal to seven is less than or equal to seven so this will be the symbol oh this is wrong. This should be this way. I should correct this uh, slide. All right. This should be this way. Okay. Is less than or equal to four. So this would go this way. Seven, I mean. All right. So we have this. So x four less than a number that is x minus four is less than or equal to seven. So we now solve. So here x take negative four to this side. It becomes seven minus four uh, plus. The sign changes to the opposite sign. So it's seven, uh, 7 plus 4. So we have x less than or equal to 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, so we don't have 11 here. So let's assume 11 is here. Okay, so how do you draw this? All right, so we are going to have a O, 
a circle here and it's going to be shaded because it is less than or equal to and the arrow would go this way also okay so this is how we graph it on the number line sorry my lines are, aren't straight okay so now for number three let me clean up this so number three says three added to the product of three now three added to the product of three and a number x okay so three is added to the product of three and a number okay so the product of three and a number x is three x that's three times x which will give you three x okay because it's product so three times x will give us what three x okay so three added to this three x that will be plus three is less than so less than the symbol five added to the product of two and the number so the number is still what x so it's less than five added to the product of two and the number so product of two and the number that's two times x which would be what two x so we add five to it five is less than five added to the product of two and a number so we have our inequality expression here so we have to solve so let's take everything x to this side everything numbers to the other side so we have here 3x taking 2x here becomes a negative so we have 3x minus 2x less than we have a positive 5 here taking this positive 3 to this side becomes a negative 3 so here 3x minus 2x that gives you a 1x right is less than uh, positive 5 negative 3 so what do we do we subtract so when we subtract we get a 2 the sign should be a positive so we have a positive 2 so finally you know in maths you can leave 1x one, 1 times x is still what x okay so x is what less than a 2 and you can leave the positive because a number that stands alone like this is a positive number okay so now let's go and how do we also graph it we have a positive here so it go goes this way all right x is less than what two now number four says five added to the product of six and a number so what's product of six and a number that's six x so five added plus five okay is greater than greater than this way than four subtracted from the product of negative three and the number so the number is x okay so four subtracted from the product of the product of negative three and a number that's negative three times x is negative three x okay subtracted from so that's minus four okay do you see that so now we solve this is our expression we take negative three here we take a positive five here so we have six x i always mention that's why i said watch the first video when solving um, inequalities always take your variables to the side it's not like equations where you can you know you can flip you can take the variable here take the variable here all right but for inequalities um because of you know the signs um each is inequality represents an equation that isn't what equal so you always have to take your variables to your left hand side so taking this here becomes a positive 3x as it crosses the sign this uh, as um, the variable crosses anything that crosses the sign changes to the opposite sign okay so this will now be greater than we have here negative 4 taking positive 5 here becomes negative 5 so here now we have 6 plus 3x will give us 9x greater than negative 4 negative 5 will give us a negative 9 so we divide by 9 divide by 9 we have x is what greater than negative 1 so how do we represent this so we have here uh let me clean this off so we have negative one here so we draw a circle here it's not going to be shaded because this is just greater than there's no equal to okay so our arrow is going to go this way all right so this is how you represent this on the number line all right so that's for number four now let's go to let me clean this up and let's go to number five so number five says a delivery driver is paid a fixed rate of 60 dollars per week plus two dollars for each delivery made this week the driver wants to earn at least 200 dollars 
write an inequality for the number of deliveries that need to be made and describe the solution. So we have to write an inequality, then solve. Okay, so here now, let us try to express this. All right. So it says a delivery di driver is paid a fixed rate. So the fixed rate $6, $60. Okay, let me just put $60 plus $2 for each delivery made. Now we don't know the delivery, each delivery. We don't know the amount, the number. That is actually what we're looking for. Number of deliveries. Okay, so we make it X. So to know how much he will be, uh, he will be paid, okay, in this commission, it will be 2 times X. All right, that would know that would enable us to know the total amount that uh, he's going to make make. Okay, so it will be two times the number of deliveries he made because this is his commission per delivery, but there's a fixed rate which is 60. So 60 plus 2x, it says what well, the driver wants to earn at least, at least that's the lowest he's going to make should be what 200 are you with me so he should make higher than this so at least in uh inequality is represented as what greater than or equal to so at least greater than or equal to that is what at least means so he is not going to end below 200 it must be at, at least that's equal to 200 but it should go above 200 so greater than or equal to $200. So this is our expression. Now we have to solve, okay? So uh, we take 60 to the side. We have now 2x greater than or equal to 200 minus 60. So this gives us 2x greater than or equal to 200 minus 60. That will give us 140. We divide by 2, divide by 2. Our x will be what? 140 divided by 2 is 70. So at least he should make what 70 deliveries if he wants to make 200. And we can put it here. So two two times, you know, make two times 70. Okay, that gives us what 140. And 60 plus 140 gives us what 200. So we are correct. Are you with me? So he must make 70 deliveries to be able to make $200 per week so this is our answer how do we um shape this on the number line let's say uh uh you know 70 70 is somewhere here okay so we just we draw here we have to shade this and our num our number line will, will go to the right okay so it will go to the right so this is the way we are going to graph this all right so this is the answer to number five. Okay, let me see if I can squeeze out number six here. Number six here, here says, David has $150 saved to spend on games. So the total amount he has to spend on games is $150. He wants to purchase a game console for $60 and games at uh, that cost $15 each. How many games can David buy? We have to represent this now. So how do we represent this? So the total amount he has is 150. So he has to spend within that 150. He can't go above. Okay. He can't go what? Above 150. But he can go below. Are you with me? He has $150. He can't go above 150. But he can go below. He can spend below. So how do we represent this? So it will be $60 plus 15 times x we don't know the amount how many games we're trying to look for how many games can he buy because each game costs what 15 so it will be 15 times x so we have 15 x and what will be our inequality uh, inequality uh symbol it will be this less than or equal to 150 okay it can be equal to the total amount he spent can be equal to 150 but it can go above so it will be less than so we have less than or equal to what 150. Can you see how we, ex we we interpreted this? You know, this is an error in my slide. This should be like this. Okay, less than or equal to. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we solve. So here we have 60. Oh, sorry, we take 60 to the other side. So we have 15x less than or equal to 150 
taking 60 to here, it becomes negative 60. So here we have 15x less than or equal to 150 minus 60 gives us 90. We divide by 15, divide by 15. Cancel, cancel. We have x is less than or equal to 150 divided by 15 is 6. Okay, so our x, the number of games that he can buy, the maximum number of games he can buy is what? 6. And we can test this. If we put x as 6 here, that's 15 times 6 will give us 90. And 90 plus, one, uh, plus 60 will give us what? 150. Okay, so he can't go beyond buying 6 games if he wants to spend at most 150. Okay, so this is how you represent, um, you know, solve inequality word problems. All right. If you want more questions on this, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section of this video. Okay, and you can also join our course, GED course. I would, you know, I'm trying to create a course that, uh, you know, you can go through. You know, it's it's been uh, curated step by step. From the beginning of algebra from everything basic maths all will be arranged for you to watch and also you are going to have you know pdf worksheets that you can use all will be on the dtwg the prep website okay so i'm working on that all right so you can just join the course so you you'll be notified when it's up all right, so thank you, thank you. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you are instantly notified when we upload an educational video for you. You can check our website, dtwgdprep.com for several summary notes, study guides. You know, you want to know about the RLA, you want to know about social studies, what to read. Please check the study guides, free practice questions on the website. Also join the Facebook group, wonderful community if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring please do contact me okay and uh, all details will be in the video description box of this video also finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last he's the one in whom there's peace there's joy there's love that you find Okay, he's the one who is going to mend, you know, whichever past it is that isn't making you see your future bright. He's going to clean all those and give you a bright future here on earth. So please do accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And he would give you rest. He said, come, lay all your burdens upon me, cast them all on me, and I will give you rest. He is going to give you rest. He's going to make you, you know, it's going to give you beauty for every ashes. Okay, any situations you've passed through in life, all, you know, your joy, okay, that would wipe out all your sorrows is in Christ Jesus. Come on to him today and he'll make everything right. And best of all, he's going to lead us to heaven at last. All right, thank you. And I wish you success in your forthcoming GED test and also success in life. You are destined to win.